times picking the right glue can be difficult. We're going to guide you through the process so you can pick the right glue for your repair project. We'll also be going over the three basic steps of gluing, mechanical, chemical, and application. It's important to pick the right glue for your repair job. Each glue has a specific chemical composition that adheres best to the material it was designed for. We'll start off with the rubber-based fabrics, otherwise known as Pinel Orca, Hypalon, EPDM, or Neoprene. When working with rubber-based fabrics, mechanical preparation or sanding is very important, as it provides a rough surface for the glue to hold on to. Chemical prep should be done with toluene or acetone, but in a pinch you can use rubbing alcohol. The steps for the application stage depend on what type of glue you're using. Typically, with a rubber-based fabric, you'll want to use Clifton's Hypalon Adhesive or Shore Adhesive. Using Clifton's Accelerant with Clifton's Hypalon Adhesive will decrease the cure time while increasing the bond strength. We recommend using it with any air holding patches, D-rings, or foot cuffs. These glues are not very runny and tend to have a gooey composition. When they go bad, they get thicker and harder to spread. Both of these glues require three thin coats with at least 10 to 30 minutes between each coat. In some instances, you may need to glue PVC or urethane to your rubber-based fabric. For this purpose, we recommend Staybond, as it is designed to work well with various materials. While Staybond does provide a very strong bond, it does not provide as strong a bond as a glue that is designed to work solely with one material, such as Clifton's Hypalon or urethane glues. If you're using Staybond to glue Hypalon to any other material, mechanical prep will be the same. You'll still need to sand the surface. For chemical prep, you can use the same chemicals that you used to clean the hypalon as before. Toluene, acetone, or alcohol are all acceptable. Cleaning the other material depends on what type of material you're using. As a general rule, when in doubt, use alcohol. During the application stage, you'll want to apply three thin layers of glue, waiting five to ten minutes between each coat. If you're working with PVC or urethane fabrics, you can use Clifton's urethane adhesive, Staybond, or Vinabond. The basic mechanical and chemical prep for these glues is the same. You'll want to use 180 grit sandpaper and clean the surfaces with MEK or acetone. Alcohol can also be used here. However, it doesn't work as well. The major differences between these glues are their bond strengths. For most patching applications, you'll want to use Clifton's urethane adhesive. These glues have a shelf life of one year. However, they won't show any signs of expiration. To help determine when it will expire, write the date of purchase on your glue. In some instances, you may have a scrim shot, an area in the PVC, urethane, or hypalon that has been rubbed through to reveal the scrim or fabric beneath. If it covers a large enough area, you may want to lay down a patch. However, doing the proper prep work and painting a thin layer of aqua seal will also help protect it. Note that it's very important when chemically cleaning for a thin layer of AquaSeal to use a solvent that's appropriate for the material you're working with and not the glue. For Hypalon fabrics, you'll want to use toluene. For PVC and urethane fabrics, you'll want to use MEK. Anytime you're gluing wood, metal, fiberglass, or an ABS plastic to boat fabric, you'll want to use G-Flex epoxy. G-Flex is a very strong and flexible epoxy that will stick to just about anything as long as the surfaces are prepared properly. Common situations where you may want to use this product included outfitting a Kevlar or fiberglass canoe, installing a transom in a rigid inflatable boat, or working with a rotomolded kayak. The instructions that come with G-Flex are very thorough and cover how to prep all types of materials. As usual, thanks for watching. If you have any other glue questions, please give us a call or check out some of our resources online at nrsweb.com.